What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with yet another crazy keyboard video. This time we have the Red Scarf 2 with these custom DSA Overcast keycap set. There's a lot to like about this keyboard, which is why when I first saw it was available, I knew I needed to bring you guys a review of it. First off, taking a look around the keyboard itself. The keyboard is made very nicely with the CNC aluminum case, plate, and feet. So it's very obvious the second you pick it up, it is a solid keyboard for sure. When you're choosing your kit, you can pick from either an ISO or an SI layout. So you can see with this 78 key layout, it's definitely a change up if you're used to a 108 key keyboard. On the left side, we have 10 function keys. And one really great thing about this is that the entire keyboard is reprogrammable. So you can set these function keys as well as any of the other 68 keys to be any function or anything you please. And then here with my Sci-Fi Overcast keycaps, it has the kind of Counter-Strike layout for those function keys, so you can easily swap weapons, defuse a bomb, throw certain grenades, all that good stuff over here in this dedicated section. And then when you turn the keyboard upside down, this is where it really gets interesting. We have the PCB here exposed with this fully transparent piece of acrylic over top, and of course, some LEDs shining brightly through the keyboard, which will bring it to a whole new level. And before we move on, it does have two feet on the back side to help elevate it, plus the mini USB port to give the keyboard some power. Now with these LED lights on the bottom and that piece of acrylic, the keyboard now has this kind of floating and glowing appearance that I think looks really cool. And with most keyboards you use nowadays, there's software that you can program the lights with, but not this, it's very simple. You get this little remote, and it's something you've probably seen if you have any RGB LED light strip around. I have tons of these already. So you use this little remote to change the colors of your keyboard. You can go through, pick whichever color you want, change the brightness, and have the keyboard pulse and fade throughout the color spectrum. I do like this a lot. You just point the remote at it, change the lights, and that'll be easier than having some software on your PC 24-7 that you only use to change the lights. Now this keyboard is not backlit, unfortunately, so the lights are only going to be seen on the bottom of the keyboard. Speaking of those keys though, I do have some cherry blue switches in my unit. Uh, blues are very popular, I like them as well, and they're great for gaming since they're tactile and rather quick switches, but you can pick from a wide variety of switches when you're checking out on Mass Drop. And you know I gotta do it, I'll do a little sound test for you guys so you can hear how my cherry blue switches sound. So I mentioned it before, these custom DSA overcast keycaps are really awesome. They come in a variety of colors and layout sets, and having those graphic keys it looks really cool for games. It not only acts as like a macro, but it gives the keyboard a pretty cool look for gamers. In these kits you can get the keys in black, blue, lime green, orange, and red, with white and black standard keys available as well. And for all you Overwatch fans out there, they have a really cool key set for the in-game heroes. Not a lot of keycaps out there give you this much customization, let alone the relevancy of representing your favorite games visually on your keycaps. They got it all here. But in my time using this keyboard overall, and with these keycaps on them, it has just been awesome. I already spoke about how well the keyboard is made, and that's definitely a good thing knowing the money you're spending is getting you a very solid product that could probably be used as a weapon. Very rugged. And since the entire keyboard is reprogrammable, you can change any key to any function, and I love it when keyboards allow that. It really makes the possibilities endless. You can take advantage of those 10 function keys to perform macros, set them for certain things if you are a photo or video editor like myself, or like I said earlier, in games, take advantage of the keycap set and have the function buttons, you know, throw certain grenades, switch to whatever weapon you need, uh, defuse a bomb, all in their dedicated section, and get wrecked. And lastly, the LEDs on the bottom here are a really unique feature and I love the extra flare it adds to this keyboard. That glowing appearance it has in the dark looks awesome and it lets you kind of give it this glowing halo in whichever color you want uh, to kind of match your setup's theme or even match your keycap set like I do. I like to leave it as blue to match my keycaps. 
Now, one thing, if I had to mention a con, uh, I do wish that on the, the front of the keyboard was slightly elevated just more, only because with these lights on the back of the keyboard, it glows really nicely since it is elevated, but not so much in the front since there's not a lot of leverage there. Light doesn't really come through too often. Very, very minor complaint, and that'll tell you the story of this keyboard. For the price, it is well worth it. It's one of the best keyboard kits I've come across, and it is very unique, and it looks awesome. You can pick this up for $165, which is in that same price range as the Corsair RGB or Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboards, but this is 10 times more solid. I'll put both links to this keyboard and those cool overcast keycap sets in the description down below. And also guys, tell me what you think. Do you like this keyboard? Last time when I had the video on the VEA keyboard, uh, you all thought it looked really cool, but it was $400. This is more than half that, uh, or less than half that, I should say. And it still looks really cool, performs really great, and having that glowing appearance at night with these lights. You know, I kind of wanted to still add some flair to these selections for you guys if you're on a, on a budget or just wanted a more affordable keyboard that still looked really cool. So, do you like this? Let me know down below. Feel free to also leave a thumbs up to show your support. You can follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. And lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You are not going to want to miss out any tech reviews I come to the channel real soon, as well as my entire rebuilding my new gaming setup when I move offices in just a few short days. So you're not going to want to miss out. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.